May 28 ay Flag Day. Huwag uh, ko kung uh, na-observe nyo, it was the National Flag Day. And uh, of course, we're, we are supposed, we were supposed to celebrate you and commemorate you National Flag Day Law provided for by Republic Act 8491. Ito yung tinatawag na Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines. And uh, of course, hindi lang uh, Philippine flag, yung pati yung anthem, motto, coat of arms, and other heraldic items and devices ang pinoproteksyahan ng batas na ito. And section 34 ng batas na yan criminalizes acts of desecration against the national flag which include mutilation, defacement, casting contempt, and other acts of dishonor sa Philippine flag. Hindi pwedeng gamitin ang Philippine flag as your trademark for industrial, commercial, or agricultural labels or designs. No? Maraming bawal. Uh, you cannot uh, display the flag in a discotheque. Cockpit, nightclub, casino, gambling joint, and places of vice where frivolity prevails. No, hindi mo pwede ng gamitin ng flag as a costume or uniform. No, hindi mo pwede ng drawing ang yung flag. Hindi rin pwede ng gamitin doon sa mga buildings or offices occupied by aliens. No, yung mga pogo hindi dapat mag. Display ng Philippine flag. So, maraming prohibition dito sa Section 34. Siguro ang importante ng alam natin when the national anthem is played at a public gathering, no, the public should all rise and put their right hand over their heart as a sign of respect. At kung military ka or police ka, then you should salute. And doon sa mga last full show, last full show ng mga sinihan, kasama rin yan. Napansin natin maraming hindi tumatayo pag nag na Philippine National Anthem sa mga sinihan. Hinuhuli dapat itong mga ito for violation of the flag law. And ang penalty dito, yung desecration of the flag, is punishable by a fine of 5,000 pesos to 20,000 pesos and imprisonment of not more than one year.